the father of Ayurvedic medicine, Shushruta said, strength, complexion, immunity, etc. of a living system is under the control of its diet, which in turn is under the control of the six taste rasas, namely sweet, sour, salty, astringent, pungent and bitter. Jai Gurudev, my name is Anish, I study in grade 8 in SSRM JP Nagar. And today my topic Swad Khane Ka is instead of on modern day nutrition and biomedicine is rather based on Ayurvedic theories and practices. How food, taste, nutrition and finally health are interrelated. According to Ayurveda, there is a subtle link between disease manifestation and the six psychological states, lust, anger, greed, desire, attachment and ego. This connection is further discussed into three stages, namely Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Sattva meaning contender state, Rajas meaning excited and Tamas meaning lethargic and disposal. That is food can induce these states of minds or food can affect our feelings. Nowadays more and more doctors, scientists and neuro doctors claim that moods not only arise in the head but also in the abdomen which Ayurveda had told thousands of years ago. According to Ayurveda, there are approximately 10,000 taste buds in our mouth. 8,000 of them located on the tongue and the rest located on the other parts of the mouth. These taste buds help the body to release appropriate enzymes for the body to break down the food particles. The, th the effort here is to understand Ayurvedic theories and practices. Ahara. Ahara is one of the three pillars of life according to Ayurveda. The other two being sleep and regulated life. Classical texts of Ayurveda from 300 BC to 700 AD dedicate elaborate sections on food. Unique aspects include detailed description of food and beverages, classification of food based on the taste and therapeutic qualities, etc. Safety measures for the same classification of food based on the dose, time, place, etc. Uh, consumption prescription for the same and the consumption of a person based on their digestive compatibility and the nature of the food. The primary classification of Ayurveda is completely based on the nature of the food and its appropriateness to the body, which is also based on the three dosha theories and the pancha tattva, as you can see here. The pancha tattva all combine and disassociate into the natural transformation of any material, be it living or non-living. The air that we breathe is something we can hardly influence, but the food we eat, we surely can. It is completely down to us about what we eat and what we drink. Nonetheless, whatever we eat, it should be easily be digested by our food, by our body, or else the excess is remained in our body. And in, and in Ayurveda, this is termed as ama. Ama is a trigger to illness. Ayurveda is not only concentrated on the nature of the food and the quantity we eat. It is given equal importance to the manner and the timing we eat. We sh substantial meals should not fall too close together as this might put a strain on the digestive system. We should eat easily digestible food at evening and food which are hard to digest should be taken at times from 2 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. As the digestive fire Agni is stronger the higher the position of the sun is which is at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's why it is easily digestible at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we should eat light foods from, 10, from the morning breakfast and the evening. We should eat light food in the morning and evening. And generally uh, Ayurvedic cuisines are meat free. We should not eat our food quickly and chew, them chew the food slowly as the chewing helps in digestion. We should not drink ice cold drinks while eating as this puts a strain on the stomach. We should drink warm water which helps in digestion. And the same is true for a range of spices which also help in digestion. With this I conclude that if we research more and more on Ayurveda it bounds us to new ideas, new researches and also new experiments which also helps us in the nutritional science and health. It also strengthens our healthcare department. With this I tell you all thank you for listening to my explanation on Swat Khane Ka and I request you all to try out Ayurvedic cuisines and practices and theories in your daily routine. Jai Gurudev.